Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll show you how to run an AWS OCR service called Textract from a console application. The video will cover some configuration setup, package installations, discussing the code base, running the code, and then validate the output. Let's get started. This is the code that I'm going to be using, and this is a ping file, the image that I'm going to be running the OCR against. You can see it's a birth certificate, it's written in French. You can see there's a lot of pixelation in this document, so it may be difficult to read. First, I'm going to show you the configuration files. Creating a directory, and then I'm going to create a file underneath that directory inside of my project. This takes a few minutes. Okay, so I added a configuration file here. I'll modify it with the settings that we need in order to run this application. So I remove the code that's already inside this file. Here I'm adding an access key and a secret key. You'll need to get your own access key and secret key from your AWS account. And then put the values inside the corresponding location. You'll need to add a few packages. This is a command to run these, .NET add package, and then the name of the package. You can also add your version if you need. In most cases, I just take the default, the most recent version. And I'm running this in the terminal in the bottom window here. I have a lot of using statements here. You can see there's some Amazon and some system. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my files to S3 before I can process them in the analyze document function. Just some configuration here. I have the image name. So I'll cover the upload file to S3 function first. Okay, here I have all my code inside of a using statement to help clean up the code after it's finished. I'm using transfer utility and then the source stream. The stream takes a file and converts it, and then it will upload this into a bucket. Bucket is one of my variables that I showed you up above, and I have the name of the file that it will save in the bucket. Okay, next step is to analyze the document. This is where it loads it into the OCR function in AWS. I select the feature types add forms. There are other options, but I'm just looking for forms in these documents. I create my client, create my request, create a document, and then the model to use with the bucket and the, the file name that I already saved in S3. And I save in my feature types, which is forms uh, shown above. And here I'm running the analyze document, but I'm running it async, so I need an await statement. So I get my results, and then I try to split it up into lines and then words. But in the end, I just want to display all of the lines as one continuous text in the console. And the function returns the text. Okay, next I'm going to ahead and run this. You can see the text that it extracted. And this is showing twice because I write to the console twice. You can see you found a lot of words here, but we need to verify that these actually are accurate and are on the image file. So if you look at the image file, you can see birth certificate, Ontario, birth, naissance, Zong, Emily Way. These are all found in the document extraction. The accuracy is pretty good, it's not 100%, so depending on your use case, maybe this is good enough. Azure has an OCR reader that's also very accurate, maybe a bit more accurate than this one. It's pretty good at finding text, even if it's not linear, not vertical or horizontal. As you can see from the stamp, it reads part of that stamp. 
So this is a simple console app. It can be used to create an API for a pipeline. It can be used with other APIs to upload, extract, uh, use Open API, Open AI, GPT, etc. Clean up your text, maybe do some spell checking afterwards. Thank you for watching our video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. As always, comments are appreciated. See you next time.